Trekking a cold summer storm with wind, rain and snow on the way. I'm ABC 10 Chief Meteorologist Monica Woods. This is an unseasonably cold pattern for our summer season and we're going to be tracking it all. You can see how things are going to be developing over the course of the work week and into the beginning of our weekend. This low pressure system pushing its way southward along with that storm track and our cold summer storm will take shape by Thursday into Friday. We're going to be uh, tracking those big weather changes, and that's going to be the timeline for these weather impact alert headlines. When Thursday through Friday, wind, storm and snow on the way, and then also a need to prepare for the potential for showers, mainly north of I-80. But nonetheless, we're all going to be feeling some kind of change in our weather forecast, mainly some fall fills in our outlook. Satellite and radar depicting that low pressure system that we've been uh, basically dealing with over the course of the weekend, still pulling its way northward here. It did de deliver some showers over the weekend, even a few isolated thunderstorms right around the California, Oregon border. Not much of an impact locally outside of the fact that we got some gusty winds on Saturday and a drop in our temperatures, but the bigger low poised to the north of us is going to give us even bigger changes ahead in the forecast. Winds will pick up first. That'll be the first impact that we start to see Thursday, mainly starting to see those wind gusts at about 20 to 25 miles per hour in the valley. But the bigger risk, especially for fire danger, is going to be in the Sierra on Thursday. That's when we see this uh, chance of significant fire potential because of high risk due to winds. We've got increasing dry winds, low humidity, as well as low fuel moisture. That's ahead of the chance for showers that heads our way on Friday into early Saturday. Fire season comparison, just kind of take a look. We've seen some pretty big fires break out, especially the Park Fire, the fourth largest in California history. You can see the acres burned to date over 820,000 for California. That's below what we saw last year at this time, which happened to be one of those years that we just didn't see significant fires throughout the state. We saw a couple that were pretty uh, big, but nothing that uh, compares to what we saw this year. And then our five year average also we're running ahead of that as well. So this has been a pretty big fire season for us, especially since we saw some really big heat in July into early August. Preventing a spark, just a couple of key reminders here. Avoid using certain equipment that could spark fires, including, but not limited to, lawnmowers. Also, keep vehicles off of dry grass. We've seen plenty of vehicles that are having difficulty pull over, and they may be having some overheating issues, and then they start a grass fire right at the side of the road. Also, cigarettes and matches. Make sure those are properly disposed. Don't want to Flick those out of your cars because we got a lot of dry grass right on the side of the roadways, especially at this point in the season, several months without any significant rain. Here's a look at the August rundown, and this is what I was talking about. We saw some early uh, month heat, especially as we started off that first week and a half or so where we saw highs ranging anywhere from about 100 to 105. Then we started to see that shift to a slightly cooler weather pattern, kind of flirting right around our average high. But over the weekend, we saw that low deliver the gusty winds on Saturday, and that brought us into the 80s, staying there on Sunday. And actually, for our Monday, we started to warm things up ever so slightly. But our average to date running slightly ahead of our average for August. We're going to drop that. It looks like even below our average high because we've got a big pulse of cool air moving in. Now, this is, by the way, the longest stretch this summer below 100 degrees. We've been seeing temperatures below the century mark since August 8th. We hadn't seen that since summer began, where we've seen a stretch beyond a couple days at a time that we didn't have at least a sprinkling of a 100 in there for downtown Sacramento. But now we get some of that big blast of cooler air. It really affects us on Friday. That'll be where we see the widespread cool air move in. And for the Sierra, it's going to be well below average. Big temperature drop topping our headlines. Breezy conditions on Thursday, as well as that chance for showers and our snow level near about eight. Uh, about 8,000 to 8,400 feet. So again, that first load that came in, just kind of draping us with some high-level cloud cover, had some active weather earlier this uh, weekend. And then the bigger low is just up to the north of us, and that's what really comes crashing down here into Northern California and delivers the bigger weather changes. The first low, not a real key player here 
in the forecast in terms of the big feel that we'll have of the changes coming our way by the end of the week. But you can see how those showers start to move their way into Northern California during the day on Friday, kind of pressing their way southward here. This particular weather model not going out much farther than that. The long range forecast does indicate that we will have right along that I-80 line the chance for showers. And as that shower activity interacts with the cold air in the Sierra, that's where we see potentially overnight Friday into early Saturday, that snow line dropping to about 8,100 feet. Now, this is going to be short lived. <laughs> I will say we won't get used to these temperatures because we've got a very likely warmer weather pattern shaping up for the end of August into the first part of September. In fact, for our 10 day forecast, we actually have a 100 in there and it won't be too long after that high of 78 that we get back to some of those extreme conditions. So highs in the 70s for this year or tomorrow. We're in the 80s and lower 90s for much of the foothills. Across the coast, it's a mix of sun and clouds. We're at 74 for San Francisco for our Tuesday forecast. Inland areas, we're in the low 90s. Sure is feeling nice outside for the morning hours. Temperatures in the 50s to start us off for morning lows with our afternoon highs warming into the mid and in some places almost the upper 90s. For tomorrow afternoon that's our warmest day this entire week after that we start to kind of chip away at that heat highs will drop to the 50s for this year so even if we get a light dusting of snow it'll melt really quickly this isn't going to pr uh, produce big travel impacts for this year but it certainly is something that'll catch you off guard if you're not uh, prepared for it in the foothills we'll see those highs in the upper 80s near 90 and then all the way down to about 67 on friday slight chance again north of i-80 that we could see some of those showers mix of sun and clouds at the coast our highs dropped from the mid 70s on tuesday into about the upper 60s by the time we get to our friday forecast so we'll call for a weather impact alert on thursday mainly because of the breezy conditions slightly elevated fire danger on that day and then on friday that's when we bring in that slight chance of seeing a few showers so friday night football might want to bring a jacket and the umbrella our highs will be in the upper 70s and then like i said we are right back to the summer heat by the time we get to the end of the weekend into the beginning of the next work week with highs closer to about 100. So again, these are going to be the big days that we see the fall feels out there. We've got our entire weather playlist, by the way, an in-depth forecast on our ABC 10 Plus app, as well as explainers, weather specials, Emmy Award winning special, including the future of California's water. You can watch it for free on Apple TV, Roku and Fire TV. Just download it. It's live, local and always on an extended forecast just like this are right there at the touch of your screen.